Reflections FX set, which is FX3. I've already set there. First, we're gonna dive into the reverb. Again, I'm using the sawtooth just to give us a really basic sense, uh, a really standard basic sound to start with so that you can compare against the other effects videos to hear the differences. In case you need to know the difference between reverb and chorus, I don't know. Just run with me on this. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, that is really beautiful. Wow. Uh, that's really cool. So, once you get the feedback up, there is uh, quite a bit of delay. Um, there is a section here called damp and what damp does is damp uh, dampens either the high frequencies or the low frequencies uh, after the fact. So let's get something a little less amazingly beautiful. Bring that feedback. So we're going to bring the damp up. So then you can hear that the reflections all are lacking a low end. And as you might imagine, if we bring it down, if you go into the negative, it's going to lack the low end. I mean, it's going to lack the high end. So you can kind of use that as a filter even. Of course, playing with the size uh, affects the, uh, the nature of the digital effect. It's really cool.
Okay, so I don't know about you, but after I make this video, I'm going to come back to this because holy cow, that is so cool, so beautiful. It's really common for Dreadbox products to have cool effects and especially reverbs. You've seen me demonstrate Dreadbox reverbs before, actually. Okay, so what's the next thing we have going here? It is the delay. So I'm going to put that at 50 and get the dampening to zero. Okay. Without anything, and you have left and right delay time, and of course, right. So you can uh, mess around with <laughs> the rhythm of the two different sides. Or you can uh, do contrapuntal work. Okay, so that's a lot of fun. But of course, as you undoubtedly know, if we want more than just a slap back, we're going to have to bring up the feed. A lot of fun can be had with feedback, as you can see. And of course, we have the damp effect back again if you want your echoes to have a different uh, spectral quality than uh, the original. Or so often, effects units, uh, especially analog delays, will diminish. Like you'll hear the sound degrade over time. So dampening the um, high end is a pretty common thing. I really like that they've added this like sort of low end disappearing thing, kind of the opposite of what you'd expect from a delay. That's really cool.
Uh, so that is your straight delay. Or just delay is what I'm trying desperately to say. Wait, I'm going to make sure. Okay, ping pong. This is another type of delay. As you can hear, the swings back and forth, the the echo iterations uh, swing back and forth in the stereo field. And this slider doesn't do anything, as you can see in the display. But let's bring some feedback in. Crazy. And again, if you'd like to bring in the dampening effect, that's possible. As the sound is getting quieter and quieter, you're hearing it lose its high end because we have it in the negative of the damping function. And of course we could go into the dampening of the uh, Low end as well. Kind of a fan of delay, so I probably let those go on longer than I needed to, but I just love the sound of them. Okay, so that is, those are all three of our delay settings, our reflection settings found on the Dreadbox Typhon, which are reverb, delay, and ping pong delay. Mm -hmm.